how to install full scan script yeah. on our server on our or our, our C panel. So let's see some things that it contains the, some some of these characteristics. Introducing full scan, you count a contactless table ordering system and QR many maker. Customers simply scan a QR code, browse the menu, place orders, and enjoy a safe and seamless dining experience. Now, to install this script, I will be using code list for testing purposes. So, Please use link in the description to purchase script license to go live. Code list is only meant for testing purposes. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. And also use link in the description. Use link in the description to hire me to help you install the script. So next, let me go to code list the CC. Open a new tab. I click on my code list. Code leader, you see, then I enter. Then, next, I click on my search button. I search for food, food scan. Yeah, here is it. Then I click on my enter. Here is it. I click on it. So next, I select any of this link. Let me see. I select this. I will copy a new tab. The paste, then enter. <coughs> Please use link in the description to purchase kit license to go live. Code list is only meant for testing purposes. Please. Then next, I download. I click on my download to download the script. After the download, then I close it. Tab. I go to my download. So I go to my download. Here is it, the file I just downloaded. So and this is a raw file. I will I will extract it to turn it to a zip file. So I double click. Start to then I click on OK. After it has is finished starting, it has finished starting. Here is the file. After it's starting it from here, then I double click to open it. Okay, here yeah, I double click to open it. I double click to open this. Source code. I double click to open this. Here is it. Oh, and it's already a zip file. So let me just leave it like that. Next, I go to my C panel. I go to my C panel. 
when I go to my files file manager I click on it then next for my file manager I look for the subdomain I want to install to because I'm using a subdomain let me see this is it this is your subdomain I want to use I've already uploaded the zip file which is this so let me show you how I uploaded it after clicking on my subdomain then next I click on up upload from here yeah I can just let me see I click on select file so next this is it I double click it to open it double click this to open this double click this to open this double click this to open this it then I select this I click on open then it's going to upload but because I have already uploaded before that's why I close it next i click on go back so next i right click on it to start a start click on the start a start files after which I check maybe there is any error. Okay, there is no error. Then I close it. I double click this to open it. Okay. Next, I select all. I right click. Then I click on my move. I want to move it to the root folder. Okay. Move files. Yes, up one level. I can now delete the folder I started from now. Yeah, this is it. Let me open it first. Yes, this is it. Let me go back to Let me go back to Okay. Yes and yes. Okay. This is it. Let me delete this. Delete. So next, I go to my C panel again. Then my database because I want to cut the database now. Database. Next. Well, I will create the database now. So let me create my database. Let me use this name. Yes, create database. Okay, it has already been created. So when I click my on my go back. Please like share and subscribe to our videos and use link in description to hire me to help you install the script also no, remember uh, i use use link in description to purchase script license to go live
I only use code list for testing purposes, please. Then next, I will create the user. Let me see, use this name and my password. I can give it any name, but that's the name I want to give it. My password, let me give it this. One password. Then create user. Then I click on my go back again. So then I've created the database, created the user, and let me add the user to the database. I will make sure I select the one I just created, user I just created, that's it. The database I just created, then I had. Yes, I give up privileges. Then make changes. So it has already been created successfully. I click on my go back again. Then next, I go to my subdomain. I go to my site. Project MG, MGS. Okay. Slash store. Then enter. Check requirements. Check permissions. Okay, everything is in order. License setup. App name. Let me see. Full scan. URL. This is my URL. Then database setup. Local 6306 database name. This is my database name. Is uh okay. That is my database username. Database password. That's what I use as my database password, then final setup. Yeah, I final setup. Application has been successfully installed. Login information. Okay, I will take note of this admin at example.com. That's going to be my email. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be my password. Okay. Then I click on finish. Okay. So enter. Okay. It doesn't touch my database, but if in case I didn't uh, brought any page, I will put my email and my password. I would have inserted that email given that I do not example.com and that password one two five six. But since you didn't bring it, just move to the database, the dashboard. That's nice. 
So here is the data dashboard. I can come to anywhere. Let's say items. Okay. POS. Let me click on my POS. Okay. My dining tables. Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. Also use link in the description to allow me to help you install the script. Also remember that I use code list for testing purposes. Please to purchase the script, use this use link in the description to purchase script license to go live. Thank you for watching.